Hey everybody, this is Michael T. Bradley back with you again for another episode of Realms Remembered. We're, uh, this is just going to be a fairly quick episode this time, just kind of covering a lot of ground, a lot of things that are skipped and uh, some of the reasons why. So as I said before, I'm not a fan of Greenwood. I'm going to try reading Elminster again once we get to Elminster and Hell because that ties into the Return of the Arch Wizards, which I did like. I still haven't read all of it, but I've read over half of it and I enjoyed what I read. I'll probably give that a reread once we get up to it to see how it kind of fits now, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, especially now that I know that it's a sequel not only to Cyric Trial of the Mad, which I have read, but also to a couple of the Harper's books by Denning as well. So I'm really curious about that. But in any case, not a Greenwood fan, so I am skipping the Knights of Myth Draenor trilogy, which has an amazing review on Amazon. <laughs> that sums it up much better than I ever could. Let's just say there's something about McSexy Pants in there, and uh, it gets better and better after that. I am also going to skip Chandral Saga, which is uh, Spellfire, Crown of Fire, and Hand of Fire. And then in 1357, there's a book called Crypt of the Shadow King, which I was actually looking forward to because it has this awesome cover, very, uh, it looks like the uh, climax to Nightbringer, the Graham McNeil 40k novel. And I really enjoyed Escape from Undermountain, at least overall, which was also by Mark Anthony. Turns out he wrote Crypt of the Shadow King before, however, and I don't know, I think it shows, like I got, I don't know, maybe a third, a little less than a third, maybe like a quarter of the way in, and it just, nothing was happening that was very interesting. It's very frustrating to me because it involved a Zentarim, uh, and I find the Zentarim really fascinating, mostly because of enjoying a lot of the stuff with Cyric uh, that Denning did. Oh, and I think they fight a Shadow Bar at one point, at least when I was flipping through, I swear I, I saw that. So it's got a lot of cool stuff in there, but it just didn't work for me. It was just too kind of like, come on guys, let's something happen here, please. And it just never really did. So I'm skipping that, though I did give it a shot. And then the only other thing that I really have to uh, talk about here at this point is Sojourn. Finishing off the uh, uh, first of the uh, Legend of Drizzt trilogies. So this one I think is by far the strongest out of those first three, mostly because we have a lot of uh, Drizzt learning about, I, I can't remember, Mikalili or whoever the like druid goddess that he uh, decides to worship, at least for now. I don't, I don't remember it ever being brought up in uh, later books that I read or skimmed through, but, you know, whatever. He uh, he, he learns about that from this, like, old uh, druid ranger, I think a ranger dude, and Drizzt really starts learning to be a ranger, and uh, a lot of the theory and just kind of hanging out and talking in this book were really good and really enjoyable, I thought. It's tempered, of course, by Salvatore's kind of over-the-top villains, which he loves, and his kind of ridiculous villains, which he loves as well, uh, which gets tiresome, but at least they aren't just mustachio-twirling villains, so I guess that's something, but didn't really do much for me on that end of it. So it's like the first third and the final third of the book are pretty weak, but that middle section is quite enjoyable. I mean, just really all the way uh, through that middle third or so, really enjoyed it, uh, which is saying a lot for me and Salvatore, honestly. Next time, I'll talk a little bit about Pools of Darkness, which is an intriguing book, along with Crystal Shard. I grouped those two together for a very specific reason. It would make more sense to do another review right now, but I haven't read enough to do so, and those two fit together really well, so I'm going to wait and clump those together and uh, deal with that then. So we'll talk about that next time. All right, uh, thanks for listening. This is Realms Remembered. I'm Michael T. Bradley. Have a good day, and please comment, give me feedback. Give me your take on it. Give me a video response. Whatever. I'm interested to hear what you think of this so far. All right. Have a good day. Bye.